It's Friday evening, it's about 30 degrees outside, it's beautiful in Stockholm today. I've come down to Palen to take a look at the side and prepare it for uh, some primer tomorrow. Rumour has it it's going to rain on Sunday, so hopefully I can prepare it tonight, paint it tomorrow, take a day off on Sunday. I've taken advantage of the last bit of sun to start doing some wood filling. There's, uh, there's quite a lot of it actually. I'm going to be spending a few weeks doing this, but this is a good start. Just sanded off another bit of the boat to put some filling in. So you may recall all this plastic, that's got to come off first and then we've got to take a look at what lies underneath it. I think you can begin to see what a complete mess this is now. You can see the fiberglass has come up for the first sort of 10-15 centimeters up the side of the cabin and then they've stopped it and then that's become a duct for the water to fly down there. What a mess. The first thing we're going to have to do is cut away all of this kind of stuff. So I've cut away the top and the bottom. The bottom was actually uh, coming out and you can see somebody has actually nailed it and used filler. Like the kind of stuff that you put around the bath. Um, what a mess. I mean, don't do that. Don't do that. Repair it properly. Got a big hole here because of that. Uh, that's nice. Unfortunately, it's not big enough to be a window. So I'll have to fill that up. As you can see, looking down, I've got a hell of a lot of work to do here. The next thing to do is to uh, wire brush this off and prepare this because we're going to put glass fibre from here down to here so we want no paint on the bottom or the top so the glass fibre has something to stick to. Uh, if I was going to keep this wheelhouse for the rest of my life all of this wood would go because you can probably see there's a lot of damp in there but I need it to last two years so we're gonna pull out the worst of the damp wood we're gonna fill it and we're gonna put fiberglass on top of it Now you can see I've got a nice little hole in the side now where I've been picking out this totally rotten wood. This has all got to be cut out and replaced. I want to just take a moment to talk about why this has happened. You can see originally it was filled and the filling kind of broke away here which let the water in down this seam. That's no bad thing as long as you repair it straight away which uh, as you can see was not done. But I want to go inside in a minute and show you why this became such a big problem. So here's our hole from the inside. If you look closely you can see that somebody has put gunk all the way down this seam. Now what originally happened was the, the crack on the outside let the water in and so what they've done is they've put this gunk in to stop the water coming into the cabin. Well. You know, that, that's pretty silly because the water still comes in and all it does is sit in the wood and as you can see, it just rots the wood. So, tip of the day, if you've got water coming into a boat, step outside of the boat and fix it on the outside. So where the hole was? I've made a plate, I've cut the wood back to something a bit more solid and on the inside as you can see there's a nice 
internal hole that I will have to fill. It's still a bit damp but it's pretty solid apart from down at the bottom but I can't really do a lot about that. So we're going to put this patch in, we're going to glue it in and we're going to glass fiber over it. I've got a layer of fiberglass on it now. I just have to wait a while for it to dry. That's another weekend on Parlin. The uh, starboard side is fixed up as you can see. I've put some tape around the windows just until we put a coat of paint there and put the proper gunk around the windows. I've also done the other side, which is now again ready for a coat of paint. The reason I'm not going to put a coat of paint on this evening is because of that. I think we're going to get storm weather this evening. So we're going to go up, look at the weather forecast and see when we get another clear 48 hours without any rain.